What's up, people? YouTube, this is Will bringing you guys a video to the channel, and it has been a long time since I've sat down in front of this microphone and recorded something. Uh, but hopefully, everything is good on your guys' end, and I am on my way to being back uh, pretty much in full force on the YouTube channel here. I'll have a video explaining all that later. But today's video is going to be discussing the huge news and bombshell that we got today about Modern Warfare 2, or the new Modern Warfare 2, that is apparently going to be releasing on October. 28th 2022 we got this really really cool artwork reveal trailer which i'm going to show for you guys now tapped into a surveillance drone my on roach well that's why we're in position Get compromised. Guys, you said we'll miss it. Good year. This is it, hermano. Bravo, stand by for contact. And in my opinion, they did a fantastic job with that reveal trailer. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I thought it looked really clean, really, really nice. Now, obviously this trailer does not give us really any insight into how the game itself is going to play. It just showcases the characters that we're, we can expect to see in the game, Price, Ghost, Gaz, Soap, and of course a new character, Alejandro, which is part of a uh, Mexican special forces unit um, within the game. So. That is all new information, and we officially know who's going to be there, at least in some capacity. Now, I'm sure there's going to be more characters than that, and probably some callback characters from the original Modern Warfare as well as Modern Warfare 2019. But uh, one thing I really want to look at here is the date that was on one of those shipping containers, uh, J8. 22 which could either be june 8th or july 8th but more than likely i'm gonna assume it's june 8th i don't think that they'll keep us in suspense that long all the way up to uh, july 8th and i would assume that we're gonna get little tidbits of information here and there kind of leading up to that maybe some some more teasers maybe some gameplay clips or, or campaign clips anything like that and also what we should really expect on june 8th is a campaign reveal now i kind of want to make that clear i don't think that we're going to see a full-fledged multiplayer reveal until much later into the summer typically uh, activision likes to do this around their you know call of duty xp event that they do at the end of the year call of duty champs because it pulls in more viewership for not only that but it also kind of just bleeds over into the release a lot better i'm actually really excited about the october release date as well uh it was kind of teased and insinuated there for a while that we were going to be getting a earlier release date for this game compared to others and i was kind of hoping we would see something in the beginning of october but i think october 28th will be pretty good I, yeah, I'm also trying to not get too excited about this game because obviously the past year, especially or two years, has been pretty rough. And I was not the biggest fan of Modern Warfare 2019 for some very specific reasons. Leaks have kind of suggested that things are going to be a little bit different this time of round with this game. They've kind of taken a lot of that information and made some adjustments that I think are really going to make me enjoy the game more as long as they keep the core elements that I liked. From modern warfare 2019 so i don't want to get too excited about this until we see actual gameplay or maybe even get to play a beta which i'm expecting won't happen until you know sometime in august maybe september prior to the release date in october uh, the last thing i kind of want to touch on is how clean the cover art for the game is the ghost cover art looks very very good and i'm interested to see if they're going to have alternate covers for different editions of the game or if they're you know still kind of leaning back off of uh, physical releases of the game and going to have more incentives for digital. I personally will be picking up a physical copy of the game because that cover art looks great. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Go ahead and leave a like on the video and comment, subscribe if you're new, all of those things. I will have a video out soon kind of talking about where I've been, uh, what's been going on, and kind of what to expect moving forward. Anyways, guys, deuces.